So this is our first video on our pregnancy and hormones section. So this is targeting the HC Biology Module 5 dot point to investigate the hormonal control of fertilization, implantation, and pregnancy. So I want to start by having a look at the structures involved in pregnancy. And you can see this central organ here, which is the female reproductive system. This is the uterus. And on either side of the uterus, you have these paired tube-like structures known as the fallopian tube. The fallopian tubes end at these oval-like structures here known as the ovaries. The ovaries contain all the ova or egg cells that a female would need in her lifetime. Now, fun fact, a woman actually contains the maximum amount of ova when she's in gestation, so that's in the womb. As she goes throughout life, she's exposed to radiation mutation, and this results in the degeneration of egg cells. And this is why at approximately age 40, women often have dysfunctional ova to the point that there's a high risk of genetic diseases in offspring. And that includes conditions such as Down syndrome. So you can see in the image here, this is a close-up of the ovary. And you can see that it consists of minor multiple follicles. Now, through the action of hormones, these follicles mature. And eventually, they'll be ready for release of the ova. Now, after the ova gets released, it's very important to know this follicle is still active. It's still secreting hormones that we're going to discuss soon. And under certain conditions, this follicle will degenerate and eventually form a scar tissue in the ovary. Let's have a look at the actual process of events that occurs in fertilization and implantation. So day one of the menstrual cycle is often the first day of bleeding. And that usually continues for about five days. Now at day 14, you will have release of the ova from a mature follicle. That ova will then sit in the outer one third of the fallopian tube, as you can see here, before fertilization happens. And this is when the spermatozoa, as you can see these little white projections here, will combine and one will fuse with the ova. So now you have a zygote, and the zygote will start to undergo mitosis, and you can see that here. When we just have a ball of cells, a compact ball of cells, we call this a morella. And then when we start getting the accumulation of fluid inside this multicellular zygote, we then call it a blastocyst. Now about six days after fertilization, approximately one week after, we get implantation of the zygote. And at this stage, it's called a blastocyst, and it's the blastocyst that implants at approximately one week after fertilization. And that concludes our overview about ovulation, fertilization, and implantation. Stay tuned to learn more about the hormones associated with these processes.